All right, if you uh, are planning on doing your own infographic, um, I applaud you for taking those steps. It's definitely an awesome way to do it. Um, a few students in the past semesters have decided to do their own and they've turned out pretty good. Uh, the biggest thing here is the research. So you have to make sure you've done research on a topic or you have enough information on the topic. Um, this one is kind of funny because it's a infographic about infographics. So it just kind of shows like different graphics that would be, you know, available for you to use on an infographic type thing. If you're not sure what an infographic is, uh, it's basically just a, a one sheet type thing that will give you information about a subject. Um, so if I go to infographic about movies, Here's an infographic, more bang for your bucks. And it talks about different movies and different um, characters in movies. Uh, talks about different scenes in movies. Okay. Um, here's Christmas movies, Home Alone, how much money it brought in, theaters. Okay. So these are all different kind of infographics about different kinds of movies. Um, so you can either, just like in past assignments, you could find one that you like here and just recreate it yourself. Maybe modify it a little bit. Um, or you can make your own based on your own research, okay? And if that's the case, then what you're going to have to do is go out and actually research a topic. Uh, you may already have some information, uh, but in this uh, instance, we need a lot of data that can be seen, okay? So Home Alone, I can say Home Alone is a good movie. I really can't see the word good. Um, and, you know, how would I illustrate good, right? Uh, but here they're talking about Home Alone. Here's some information about it. Um, here is how much money it brought in. Here's how many theaters it was, it was in. Uh, same thing with How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Here's the Polar Express. Okay, so you get the idea of all of these different types of things. Here is uh, the most common accident, common holiday accidents. Uh, hypothermia can occur, blah, blah, blah. And they have a picture of someone sledding without uh, proper gear on. Uh, population getting the flu, accidents of falling, putting up decorations, okay? So this is very cool because we have information and we have graphics, and that's the whole idea. It's information and graphics. That's what infographic stands for. Surprise if you didn't know that. Um, I want to have, like I said, information and graphics, so it can't simply be just graphics like this. Even though this does have some information on it, I want it to be a good balance of the two items, okay? Um, so if you are going to be doing that, um, then what I want you to do is make a planning folder inside your infographic, uh, assignment. Um, and then in there, you'll just submit, um, a, a text document showing all of your information, right? So if I was going to use, um, this James Bond one, my topic title would be James Bond 50 years of movies. I would... Uh, name each one of these James Bond characters, how much money they made. <clears throat> I would also have some top grossing 007 movies, lowest grossing 007 movies, um, and then some extra information inside there. Okay. And basically, if that's the route you want to go, um, then it actually is a little bit more, you know, your assignment versus something like this where, you know, You've done the work, but this really isn't yours. This is somebody else's. Um, monsters, more graphic than this. So again, just like the uh, vector poster, we want to use graphics, not just like circles, right, or squares. We want imagery, stuff like this, imagery. Um, this one looks neat, but again, it's not very graphical uh, when compared to something like that, something like that one, um, even the Kill Bill one, okay? So just think about um, different topics. Um, and if you do decide to do your own, once you have your stuff inside your planning folder, then shoot me an email and let me know. That way I know to check it, okay? Um, that way you can get started on it as soon as I'm able to go through it and say, hey, uh, this is needing a little bit more information, or you may want to focus on just one part of this or whatever the, the case may be. Okay, good luck.